Oh man, that boat is filthy after yesterday. I am super, super not excited to clean that off. As you can see, the sun's out, it's warm, everything's melting, everything's slushy. It's all really just trashed. It's gonna be a little while before this boat's clean. Anyway, welcome back to another video, guys. Just gonna do a really quick one here this morning about something that I've gotten a lot of comments about, especially since I've been crappie fishing, but it's how I tie my double jig rig. It's really super easy if you guys haven't actually looked that up yet, but it's probably one of the easier little rigs to tie. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that while I get a couple of my customer rods rigged up here. All right, so the double jig rig for crappies, it's a real simple rig, super easy to tie. I like using two jigs, especially with customers. Number one, just because crappies often bite at the exact same time. So often catch a double, you know, two at once. That's always pretty fun, but it really helps you kind of dial in what color or style of bait that they're gonna be dialed in on that day. Now, I can't necessarily say that our success rate has been higher because we use two jigs. You know, a lot of crappie fishermen are super, super dialed in on just using one jig, which I do a lot of the times as well. But for the most part, the rigged up with two, it really helps keep that weight down there too, especially on windy days, short of using one bigger jig. But more than anything else, it really just helps me rule out a color or style of bait that those fish might be biting on at any point in time during the day. So here we've got our 10 pound braid main line here. And the first thing that you're gonna do is just tie your first jig on just like you normally would with whatever knot that you prefer. So now that you've got your jig tied on, trim your tag. So now you've got your one jig, okay? That's the first part of the step. Now, the second part of the step is where it gets just a little bit complicated, but it's still pretty easy. So now with both of your fingers here, just pull out, I'd say around 12 to 18 inches of line. That's about the space that you want between the two jigs. I mean, you can have them as high or as low as you want, but I think the way that those crappies position on the brush sometimes is usually about a foot, foot and a half or so. So again, 12 to 18 inches, then you just go ahead and pinch your braid there. Now with your other hand, make a loop in that braid, just like so and then flatten it out. Now this is the other reason I really like using braid because when I tie this rig, it's almost impossible to do it with monofilament or fluorocarbon, but with braid, you can really flatten that out. So take your loop, flatten it out and grab your second jig. So now with your second jig, you're gonna take that loop that you've created and flattened out, put it through the eyelet of the jig, keep your tag in together there. And now you've got this here. So you've got one loop pinched on this side and then the other main line along with that loop end together on this side. So now all you're gonna do literally is basically tie a Palomar knot. So it's almost just like an overhand knot. And you may have to switch sides depending on which side is more comfortable, but basically just take that loop end, wrap it around your finger. Now with that wrapped around your finger right there, go through the loop that you've created through the eyelet of that hook, put your finger through it, both fingers, and then grab that loop and then pull it through. So you're almost there, that's the, la that's the second to last part of it. So now with that loop, separate it with your two fingers and then grab it with your pinky and bring that jig all the way through. So now we're at the point where we're ready to cinch that knot down. With that, I can just drop my pinky out, start cinching everything down like that. I know it looks kind of messy at first and then slowly start to cinch that knot. The biggest thing is that you don't want that loop to wrap around the hook or the eye or get onto the wire keeper right there, which uh, it does happen a lot. So if you, as long as you just go real slow, you can cinch that down. So now pull on the bottom jig and you've got your double crappie rig right there. Now, if you guys are familiar with the Palomar knot, I know this is a very popular knot to tie like a drop shot, and you can make this rig, you can tie this rig just like you would a drop shot, where you would take your main line, tie this first jig on up here with a Palomar knot, like a normal drop shot rig, and then leave enough of a tag on to just tie your second one on, which if you had a drop shot rig, that's where you'd be tying your weight on. But the benefit of that Palomar knot up top is that your jig is always gonna hang horizontal. You want both of these baits to sit as horizontal as possible on the water so that they look completely natural. You never really have to worry about this one at the top. It's always gonna sit horizontal as long as you tie the jig right. 
But then this one right here, sometimes with braid, and I've seen this tip 150 times on Facebook, sometimes that braid will get on this side of the jig head or the eyelet right there. What I always like to do, especially when I give a rod to customers or pull their baits up, is just make sure that that cinches down to the inside of that eyelet, and that helps it hang a little bit more horizontal on the water column. So there you have it, your double jig crappie rig. Again, this is about you know a 12 to 16 to 18 inch gap, just depending on how much you want. But you can tie, you can learn how to tie a regular drop shot rig and just tie it if that's a little bit easier for you. But I find this to be super quick, super easy, and that's my double jig rig right there. So I hope this little a quick tip here that I didn't really want to incorporate into a whole fishing video helps you guys out if you were wondering how I tie that double jig rig but again a real effective rig for ruling out colors and bait styles when you're trying to figure out what the fish want on any given day so in the meantime I'm gonna finish getting these rods rigged up and ready to go here think about washing the boat edit this video up and I'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching